Hi, this is Santosh and I thought that it's better for me to come up with a, a small demo to show uh, how we can actually able to compare the XML file because now in a distributed object computing where we have a different business to business component from where the data is coming through the XML file and we or maybe it is from JSON file so we can able to compare those uh, files very easily and I know there are lots of uh, software out there which is actually um, uh, we, we had to pay for the licenses but here I found one tool which is called MELD MELD and it is a free XML tool and uh, using this tool I am trying to give a small demo how that XML file can be viewed and how we can use this uh, tool to to quickly uh, you know to, to run the irrigation cycles and also during the the, the actual uh, different stories where we have to verify the each values and, and the data mapping uh, of each value and attributes we can also uh, for that also we can use it and also for the regression we can use this let's go quickly and see what the XML file I, we would like to verify so first we have to have one base XML file which we know that it is going to work so I created one small um, demo XML file which is called insurance plan menu we, under that menu we have different kind of uh, records each record will have the uh, plan the price the description uh, uh, and the plan code so they are number of uh, uh, no, plans are there and their values and their description and code is there and we will use as a base to verify um, uh, against the different uh, uh, regression cycles so what we'll do i'll open the tool here and in this tool this is the base file that we we just uh, uh, i was explaining you and now here i would like to actually bring the same file and compare against it now once you comparing within no time you can see that every attribute every value is matching and there is no issues with the with the two files so the, against the base file the the, the 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 new file under the test we can actually verify that, that all values are matching now let's say if we want to test under the um, the next education cycle and with that we have some changes and we're expecting maybe not expecting maybe we are expecting that there should be matching so let's open it and verify the moment you open against the base file you can see that right away it can display the the actual file versus the base file the expected values and he, these are the expected values and in for 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 few records the values are matching but from here uh, for this record you can see that the price is actually hundred dollars and three cents but we see here totally uh, the text value so this is a defect and we can log it and also under what record what value is not matching it, it, it is showing you right there and also it is showing you that on here that one of the attribute is missing in the base file and in the the actual file we see that there is a um, um, there is a actually extra attribute is been added here which is missing so if you want if you think that this is the expected and we want to add to our baseline we can actually base file we can actually right away we can add it and also let's see further uh, is there any other values are not matching right uh, quickly we can see that this hole and if you're changing the 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 two files up and down still it will show you like which uh, left side uh, row is matching with the right side record and you can see that uh, the insurance plan e is not matching it is showing you some different value the xxx and all the attributes are same but the values are different but in the next one here you can see that all the attributes are different and they are not matching with any other record so either this this is maybe a defect we have to log a defect or we can merge it so this is how quickly we can compare uh, the two files uh, in regression we might have a like you know 20 30 40 50 files and we have a base file then we can easily quickly we can verify it let's talk about the tool itself so when i actually um downloading it and then the under the license agreement it is actually saying that uh, you have to refer to these licensing uh, url to verify whether it's free or not and i verified that is actually at this moment and i verified that this is totally free and if you go to uh, to the the, uh, the references under the license it's saying that this is under general public license and it is totally 
free and and i went to each and every uh, url and it says that this is permission is granted to anyone to use this software and also there is one more here uh, it is also saying the same thing oops uh, let's see can i go to the other one and uh, yeah Where is it? Uh, let me go here. Just bear with me. Yeah. And it is also saying that everyone is permitted to, to copy and distribute uh, the verbatim copies of this license document, but changing, changing it is not allowed. So basically it's free. So at this moment and for more information, you can actually go to this uh, website and actually verify whether it's truly free or not. And at this time, I see that it's free and we can use it as a great tool for a, for XML comparison during the irrigation cycle, as well as we want to test in, uh, based on the news stories, we can verify as well. And um, and uh, what else I have to say is actually I'm trying to even look into the Java uh, uh, you know, APIs which we can use to compare but I don't see that this visual display is possible but I'll try to see if we can able to come up with something in the Java programming if I find something I'll definitely share with you thanks for your time I really appreciate have a good day bye bye if you have any question please do let me know thanks